Um, right, hello, I'm so, 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 so sorry about that last video. I didn't get a chance to rewatch it. And my computer is a fucking bitch slut. And there's something wrong with it. And um, yeah, so I don't know what's wrong. And I didn't get a chance to re to watch it before I uploaded it. And I knew you were going to do something like that. And uh, I didn't get a chance to rewatch it and stuff. So I didn't realise the sound was so fucking awful in it. So, um, yeah. So uh, just a shout out to Emma Nolan and Chelsea Tyler, which is Chelsea's famous name for when she's like, you know, super famous and stuff. And I just want to say that the rise and my life would be incomplete without them. And uh, Tiger's just climbing on the table. Um, so yeah, why am I called Baldy? Okay, so my first name's Nicole, and I used to be Nicole, Coley, Coley, Balls, Balls, Baldy. But um, everyone used to call me Coley in primary school and like a bit of first year. And uh, then Shauna, the girl that's doing the video later when we come back from LGBT, not LGBT, when we come back from Uga, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. Uh, yeah, she started calling me Coley Balls. And uh, then it just kind of, you know, stuck. And like, she was calling me one day because, um, oh my God, give me one. She has Jolly Ranchers, this isn't fair. Um, Stacey, can I have one, please? I'm gonna bounce up and down. That one. Um, I'm gonna eat it after as my little treat for being so amazing. Um, yeah, and then she started calling me, and then Coley got Coley balls. Coley balls was like too long-winded and stuff like that, so uh, she we just shortened it to balls. Balls stuck for the past fucking millions of years. And then one day me and James McCartney were talking and uh, I was calling him something and he didn't like it. And uh, then Baldy Waldy and Jamesy Babes, Jamesy Mamie, yeah, 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 yeah. Jamesy Babes, he just kind of arose out of the air. Um, so yeah, I went to see Bob Dylan last Thursday, are you JLS? It was amazing. I was so close. I am now. It was so, I was so close, I could have spat on him if I was into that. Um, right, yeah. So, I got this question on my own YouTube. Stacey, what are you doing? I got into my own... See, this is why I asked you to leave. You distract me. Um, I got this question on my personal YouTube, which the link will be down there. Um, it's from this girl. And it's like, Hiya, I've seen your, your videos on UNA Ireland, and it's real embarrassing asking you this. But I've been thinking about it all week. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm a lesbian, bi, or straight. How did you know you were bi? Okay, first of all, don't be embarrassed to ask questions because that's what this is here for. And, um, yeah, so don't be embarrassed because that's really stupid. I have to keep watching this because Stacey's right there and I have to keep seeing if she's dancing or anything. But, um, yeah, okay, so I've always kind of known, but I didn't know what it was called. I just kind of, you know, knew that I had some attraction to girls. Like, um, I always kind of fancied my friends and stuff like that. And I'd get real, like, awkward and stuff. Yeah, Stacey, I'll get on to that later, okay? Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, my first kiss was a girl and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, it was a long time until I realised that, like, there was a word for, by, like, liking girls and boys. But, um, like, yeah, if you have, like, sexual and emotional, all them kind of feelings towards only girls, then you're a lesbian because you don't like guys. And then if... And then, and then if you have them feelings for boys and girls, then you like both. And then if you only like boys, then you're free. It's, it's easy enough to figure out, but like you probably have to, you know, do some experimenting and stuff like that. But um, yeah. Okay, another question. Are you in a relationship? I am in a relationship. I'm with a relationship. With a relationship? Uh, no. I'm in a relationship with Adam Fox and we've been together for three He's months. <laughs> Fantastic, hey, Mr. Adam. Fox. Um, yeah, and I've been with him for three months now, but we've been like seeing each other for like seven. Um, yeah, he's amazing. Uh, have you any interesting coming out stories? This is the one Stacey was like this for. Um, yeah, so I've been by for maybe a year and I was at a party in this house. It was awesome, it was all like, Right, 
and um, the guards came, one of the wanker neighbours rang the guards and um, they came and I was like trying to be really sober and stuff like that but it wasn't happening and um, they ended up ringing my mum, don't know how they got her number but you know, they rang her anyways and uh, she brought me and Stacey back to mine because nobody was in Stacey's and um, what you call it, so long story short, I ended up going in really drunk and being all like, a man, I like girls. And she was like, oh, what you happy? And I was like, and I'm in love with Stacy. And um, Stacy was just kind of like, yeah, do you want me to go and, you know, make you tea? And I, I yeah. made her tea like a badass mofo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, it was more funny than interesting. And my mom took it well. Like, she knows about everyone, like, she knows that, like, my friends are all gay and bi and straight and stuff like that. I can just see Stacey's hands coming out of my <laughs> shoulders. This is really creepy. Oh, my God, that's so weird. Anyway. Um, anyways, uh, so, yeah, she took it really well and, like, she knows I go to UGA and stuff like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna one. Who's the hottest girl on the planet? Zoe Deschanel. Oh, my God, you think differently. I'll end your life. Oh, my God, she's a ride. Oh my god, I love her more than life itself. Right, so these are my last questions because we're kind of in a rush to go to UGA. Um, right, so these two kind of link together. One's basically a lad asking uh, how to tell his parents he's by, and then another one's another lad asking how to tell his best friend when they both talk badly about it and like think that they're greedy and they don't mind gay people, but it's mainly like you can't like two people two sexes and all this shite but um yeah in my opinion you just kind of have to have someone with you that like knows like say if they've questions to ask and you're not too sure about them that they can ask like the person or the person can help you out or you know if it's going bad you have someone to turn to and all this crap and i think that you should give them time to come to terms with the fact that you know you're not the norm you know you're not straight and um yeah but they're your family they should love you regardless of your sexuality and with your friend like they're not friends with you because you're fucking straight love being friends with someone because they're straight no they're friends with you because of your personality and um or maybe they fancy you like i fancied stacy and uh we're just with you because you know you're all right but uh what you call it yeah so um come here you boss okay i think that like they'll understand like if they, if they like ask you questions and stuff like that you can talk to them and they'll like understand a bit more and then you give them a while and then they'll come to terms with it and all will be well and fine you so um yeah i kind of have to go now going to uga i love you guys bye